Welcome to the Gyroplane Flying Podcast. Welcome to another edition of Gyroplane Flying, where we discuss everything gyroplanes. This is Joe Cavelli, your host of Gyroplane Flying and president and owner of Air Command Gyroplanes and Skywheel Rotorblade Systems. I'm very pleased to bring this podcast to you. Thank you for listening. Last year, I was introduced to Phil Harwood. Previously to this, I only knew Phil from his video work posted on YouTube. In 2013, he posted on YouTube a video about gyroplanes, and I happened to come across it. At that time, I recall it having just 1,600 views. I check back ever so often and the number of views just kept increasing. As of today, the video, Top Gear for Gyroplanes, has 406,000 views and climbing. Amazing. I know I've contributed many times to the number of views. It's a great video, so check it out. Phil is chairman of the International Association of Professional Gyroplane Training, which produces an online training program called Gyropedia. I've really enjoyed getting to know Phil these last many months. A few weeks ago, we announced Gyropedia was selected by Air Command as its primary flight training program. In my opinion, the foundation of a great instructional program is its curriculum. Since beginning in 2013, they've logged over 72,000 gyroplane flight hours into the Gyropedia program. Gyropedia began as a worldwide standardization of gyroplane flight training to lower insurance costs. As we bring our rotorcraft models back into production later this year, it is essential we use the best training resources to benefit both instructors and student pilots alike. A stable performing gyroplane is only as safe as the pilots who fly them. To support our gyroplane products, our customers, and the gyroplane community, back in January, we announced Air Command was in the early stages of recruiting gyroplane flight instructors to provide its customers with expert instruction in its aviation products. Gyropedia is recognized as a world leader in our aviation market space. So after this brief message, I'm pleased to bring you my interview with Chairman Phil Harwood of the International Association of Professional Gyroplane Training, the producers of Gyropedia. Air Command announced recently an international effort to increase the number of certified gyroplane flight instructors in the United States, Canada, and elsewhere. Interest in the program is building. There are three main goals. One, recruit current gyroplane CFIs. Two, transition existing fixed wing and helicopter CFIs to gyroplane add-on. And three, develop those interested in building flight hours towards CFI certification. The program is a collaborative effort to advance the sport and increase safety with more instructors. If you're interested to learn more, contact us here at Air Command at phone 903 527 3335 or email us at connect at aircommand.com. That's connect at aircommand.com. You can also go online to aircommand.com to complete the interest form. Your journey begins by taking the next step. You're listening to the Gyroplane Flying Podcast. And now, back to the program. Recently, Air Command International joined the Organization for International Association of Professional Gyroplane Training through the Gyropedia program. And Phil, I appreciate you sharing your time today with us to talk more about Gyropedia. You've been involved since they began in 2013. And what a remarkable difference you've made in the industry. Tell us more about Gyropedia. Thank you very much. You'll appreciate that gyroplanes is a very small community when compared to aeroplanes and helicopters. And in the bigger scope of aviation, there's a lot of help, there's a lot of organizations to make things happen. And so we felt 10 years ago that there was not a lot of things happening from a regulation point of view or even a community. And then it happened to be that every year we would go to the same events Uh, particularly the big one in Germany. And you got into a peer group and you met the same people every year. And through uh, coffee, pizza and a few beers, felt why can't the different countries join together and try and make one organization that would have a critical mass 
that could actually make a difference. And of course, there's the ultimate dream, and that is that if you get your license to fly a gyroplane, that you can actually fly anywhere in the world. And so that is a high level dream of us all. Uh, and we've made some steps in getting there. Gyropedia is made up of different facets for learning, education, curriculum, and syllabus. Can you explain to our audience what makes up the Gyropedia program? Certainly can. So core of the Gyropedia is the, the international curriculum for pilot training. And let me tell you why uh, we did that. In different countries, the syllabus is different. However, what's different is a numbering system. The actual content is very similar. And if you remember the dream of having one license accepted throughout the world, we have to show that the level of training is consistent. So what we did is we sat down and we took every syllabus that we knew about for gyroplanes and we looked at the commonality and we created one syllabus that would comply with the regulation in every country in the world. And that's incredibly powerful because if you train using the standard lesson structure, we can print out training records on your logbook in the numbering system for all the countries that we know do gyroplane training. So it'll number it for America, number it for Australia, number it for the UK, Germany. And that is the basis of the Gyropedia. And that represents itself in videos. It represents itself in question banks, in books, to have one common thread for gyroplane training. I recall my first experience with Gyropedia was around 2013, uh, right when you began, and I came across a video on YouTube featuring Phil Harwood. Phil, I was captivated by how you introduced me to gyroplane training and flying. Would you mind sharing with our audience your experience with that video and really what it's meant to the industry? Because I know personally I've shared that video with hundreds and hundreds of people. The video is called Top Gear for Gyros. Somebody contacted me, a local a videographer and said, would you like to make a video? I really, that time, couldn't afford it and thought, nah, I'm not into that. However, he took the brief and he wrote the script for Top Gear for Gyroplanes. And it just became a must-have because the way that it was put across was, you know, it made the hair stand up in the back of my neck. So we then recorded it. And we put it out uh, initially on uh, private channels. In fact, we actually put it in a small cinema to start with and used it at an exhibition. And people were coming out of the show and asking to buy the DVD. And we were going, you want to buy the DVD? It's a 10-minute uh, video. However, people did buy the DVD, and then eventually it went on YouTube. And we were astounded at the popularity of it. Uh, even today, which is some eight years later, it's uh, still one of the highest ranking gyroplane videos on YouTube. And a lot of flying schools, a lot of manufacturers have it as part of the story and background for gyroplanes. Top Gear for gyros. Uh, a little bit out of date now because it doesn't have all the new models of aircraft, but the principles are still very sound. I just loved watching that video, Phil, because of your motivation, your passion for gyroplane flying. It just comes totally out in that video presentation. I think a lot of people begin their gyroplane journey by coming across gyroplanes in some way, but really get drawn in when they start watching videos. And I just know that's a great ambassador type video. Like many will discover or have discovered, gyroplane ownership and involvement really is a journey. So one of the other things that people should be aware of with gyropedia is that there are different levels of membership that you can be involved in. Phil, would you mind giving us an overview of how people can become involved with Gyropedia? The simplest way is registration. It doesn't cost anything. You put your basic details in, and that means that you've got uh, some access to see the curriculum and access some of the training material on a trial. However, as well as that, we have a uh, every two weeks, there's emails that come out that take you step by step through the curriculum, all 30 exercises, and it will send you a video every two weeks and uh, some sample questions, and all of that's completely free. 
The next level is if you're starting training, then there is the online training course. And that is where you get access to all the videos, all the training material to step you through your training uh, system. Uh, that also follows, it's not just to the point you get your license. One of the big issues is people who get a license and then they don't keep fresh. So there's a lot of stuff to do with what we call the pilot development program. And that keeps people interested and refreshed for as long as they're a gyroplane pilot. And that's uh, very, very common. And that's an annual subscription. You basically join the organization, the International Association of Professional Gyroplane Training, and that gives you the training material. But the top level is actually to do with instructor training. And if you think about the standards of training, it boils down to the instructor training. And that is the major part of the gyropedia. It's not seen by many people because it's only seen by people who are in the instructor training and runs with the instructor course. Uh, that contains uh, somewhere over 200 videos on different aspects of gyroplanes from technical to training to understanding things. And all these videos are of a similar style to what was done on Top Gear for gyroplanes, albeit some of them are in the classroom. So that's the, the three levels. One thing that we've recently announced here at Air Command back in January was the effort to expand the gyroplane training instructor network here in the United States, Canada, and elsewhere. And Phil's been a terrific supporter of us in helping offer guidance as we make our way through that process. And like I mentioned early on, Air Command has assigned Gyropedia as our primary training curriculum. Phil, I want to thank you for the guidance that you provided us in establishing this program and utilization of the resources that are offered through Gyropedia. What would you have to say to somebody that's out there listening to this program? They may have a gyroplane, they may not. They're interested in continuing the discovery of aviation and their passion for it and may be interested to be an instructor. What would you suggest to somebody in how they get started down that pathway? Well, it boils down to it. You only live once, and if you've got a dream, you owe it to yourself to follow that. I am not a, a pilot by trade uh, with an IT guy, and I worked in industry. But I always had a dream to fly and I was in my mid-30s when I thought, you know what, I'm just, there's, there's no right time. You've just got to do it. And so it continued. And we see uh, about 50% of the people in the Gyropedia are people who have just got that dream. For a lot of people, it takes about two years from initially thinking about it to actually going, you know what, I'm going to go for it. A guy called Will from Vietnam wanted to open an instructor school in Austria. And I have to say, I thought, you know, that's a long shot. Within 24 months, he was a fully qualified instructor. He now runs one of the biggest flying schools uh, for gyroplanes. And all of that was purely following a dream. So if you're even thinking about it, you know what? Just get in there and do it because you owe it to yourself to just have the best job in the world. All right. I think we'll end it on that note, Phil. But before we do, <laughs> is there anything that you wanted to add? To me, important about a project like this is that it requires everybody to just participate. IPGT has this concept of learn, challenge, develop. You know, let's be serious. You learn by mistakes, but nobody has the time to make all the mistakes themselves. We have to learn from other people. And what we did with the Gyropedia is we facilitate the ability to share the lessons learned so that we want the gyro community to be the safest community. And in reality, we want it to be the aspiration of the traditional aviation factors to want to be like the gyroplane guys. That's our dream. Phil, thank you very much for your time and information today, and congratulations on the success of the program. Thank you very much, and it's a pleasure to work with you.
Thank you for listening to Gyroplane Flying, where we discuss everything gyroplanes. The podcast is produced by Air Command International LLC and Skywells LLC. Even though both companies are represented in the program, they are separate and distinct entities. Please share comments and suggested topics with us using the contact us webpage at aircommand.com. You can listen to all previous podcasts at gyroplaneflying.com.